I think from my perspective as a physicist, <laughs> the thing that's uh, really most interesting story for me is Neptune's discovery. It's a uh, um, it, it's a uh, um, so Neptune has the its a claim to fame. It's the it's the first and the only planet to be discovered through mathematics. It uh, um, Neptune is one of the gas giants. Sorry, ice giants, but it's uh, far enough uh, up, out out in the solar system that it's quite faint from Earth. It's hard to see. You wouldn't see it without use of a telescope. So you have to, in order to discover Neptune, you have to know where to point the telescope to. And, um, and the way people found it was, this is, um, uh, it, it's a you know, classic story of uh, science as a puzzle solving endeavor. So people have been observing this planet for a long time. And when people have charted uh, the orbit of Jupiter and Saturn, the known planets, those, especially the orbit of Saturn, it didn't quite match uh, what we thought it should be based on our understanding of gravity. And when you reach that crisis, you have uh, two possible resolutions. One is that uh, the theory could be wrong. Maybe Newton had the wrong idea about gravity. Maybe it's not exactly inverse square. You need to correct it somehow. And that's one possibility. And the other possibility, which is um, where Neptune fits in, is that the theory is still correct, but there's uh, something that we missed. And in our story here, that's Neptune. And this is a, I call it the classic story structure because it's something that repeats uh, quite a few times in the history of science. Um, I guess it of course, more in physics with the discovery of a neutrino and <laughs> all those things. But you will see this in astronomy also with our story of a dark matter, especially. That's still an ongoing subject of research. And when uh, with the, the dilemma that we are calling dark matter, um, what people are hoping is that that story will resolve in a similar way as a discovery of Neptune that our current understanding of gravity is fine, that there is an unseen element that we will somehow eventually be able to find and explain. So um, so it's from the philosophical side again, um, can important story that's why we need to tell it here. And um, yeah, planet discovered by Matt. Um, I think I'm out of time here. So, there's the matter of a uh, definition of planet. I think uh, I'll have to talk about this on Monday. Um, this uh, is important in talking about Pluto and why Pluto is not a planet or it's not a major planet. Um, so, so let me uh, reserve this or defer this to the first half of Monday's virtual class session. And I'll use the remainder of the time working through some of the homework questions in mon on Monday, but uh, let me talk about this on Monday since I'm actually out of time and I do want to talk about the whole thing about clearing the neighborhood.